Simon, you're actually going to turn your attention to Thursday night and take a, a different approach because you get the hunch that a lot of love coming in on Baltimore because it ain't so great right now for Tommy and Tampa, but there's a different angle here to avoid what you think might be the public side. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it simple. Just keep riding this Ravens first half trend. We, we talked about it coming into the year. There's something going on with this Ravens team where they let teams back in the second half, but the first half, they usually always keep it close or at least win by three, right? So last week they were down to the Browns. I don't know. I think it was 13 to six or 10, six came back down the field, scored a last second touchdown the first half to again, push the first half and hit it on the money line. I, I just got to keep riding the trend of the Ravens. So to me right now, bet MGM, you can get it at minus a half. You can even get the money line if you choose at minus 115. That's just really great value against a Buccaneers team that, to me, the trap of the week, like me and Chad are going to talk about on the show today. Flash, go back to last year on a Thursday night. What happened? Uh, the Ravens went down to Florida, played a Miami team that I think they had lost six straight at the time, were big favorites, got completely demolished by that uh, Miami team down there. So we've seen the history with Lamar going down to Florida, his home state, just not performing well. Fishy line. Again, I make it minus three for the Ravens. It opened, I believe, a minus one, one of the maybe one, one and a half. Just been bouncing in between there. I'll stay away from that, right? Just because we've seen what's happened. The Ravens letting teams back into it. I'll just keep riding the trend of Lamar first half. He's just an animal. Take that first half spread. 